Welcome back to my channel. My name is Kelsey and it's been a while. How are you? How you doing? I have been slowly deteriorating. So welcome to my April TBR and in the month of April, this is the Owls Magical Readathon hosted by G from Book Roast. I haven't done this in so long. I'm not even looking at the camera, at your faces. So this is hosted by G from Book Roast and I will leave a link to her channel down below because she does go into the prompts and explain them much better than I could. But basically you have your wizarding careers and I'm looking down at my laptop because obviously there is an influx of information um, that I can't possibly know by heart. So you have a bunch of options of different careers that you can take in the wizarding world and for me my choice is mind medic. Uh, a mind medic would kind of be a sort of psychologist in the wizarding world and for that we need to complete a couple of prompts um, but for the purpose of just what I would do if I was uh, in school I would probably want to collect all my owls so that's what I'll be doing this month. However I will read the prompts that fall into the specific mind medic Owls. So for the Mind Medic, we need to complete the Ancient Ruins, Arithmacy, Charms, Defense Against the Dark Arts, Herbology, Muggle Studies, Potions, and Transfiguration. So that is eight um, out of the 12 prompts, but we'll be, like I said, completing all of them. So we might as well get into the prompts right away. So the first class that we need to take our Owls for is Ancient Runes, and for this it is the Heart Rune, Heart on the cover, or in the title of the novel. And for this I picked Hungry Hearts, edited by Elise Chapman and Caroline Tongue Richmond. This is a collection of 13 short stories that follow food and how food is so much more than just a nutritious thing for us. Uh, it's a cultural thing, it's a family thing, it's a love thing. So I'm really looking forward to kind of reading something cute and light and fluffy this month uh, given the current um, situation going on in the world. The next class we have a test for is arithmancy and for this we have magical qualities of number two, balance and opposites. Read something outside of your favorite genre, anything outside of fantasy, um, is outside of my favorite genre but I wanted to really go in and pick something that I don't normally like to read and that is classics. Um, I do read quite a bit of classics especially considering I have an English literature degree but I don't particularly enjoy um, every single one that I read. It really takes a specific classic to churn my butter and for this prompt I picked The Island of Dr. Moreau by H.G. Wells. This follows a man named Edward Pendrick. He's on a ship and it kind of crashes and he's saved by this person named Montgomery and he's aboard a ship with a bunch of animals and Montgomery takes him to an island where his like boss lives and the boss is Dr. Moreau and upon being on the island Edward realizes it's not what it seems and if you watched the Simpsons Treehouse Halloween special where Marge was a sexy panther I feel like you understand where this story is going from and you are equally as scarred as I am and scared of this book. So the next class we have a test for is astronomy and the prompt is night classes. Read majority of this book when it's dark outside. Usually at night uh, what I tend to read is graphic novels. So for this I picked Saga Volume 7 by Fiona Staples and Brian K. Vaughn. This is the final installment of the Saga series by Image Comics. Before they went on this kind of hiatus, this is my favorite graphic novel series. It follows two people um, at opposite sides of a galactic war between planets and they end up falling in love and having a child, a legal child. And the story is told from this child's point of view and it's my favorite thing in the universe and I've been putting off this final volume but I think reading it at night where I can cry in peace is the best option for this novel. The next class we have is Care of Magical Creatures, Hippogriffs, Creature with a Beak on the Cover. This book is probably the biggest stretch on this TBR and it is Before the Devil Breaks You by Libba Break. In this novel you might be wondering there's no visible creatures with beaks on the front nor the back cover. However, one of the main antagonists in this series is the King of Crows and on the back cover when it's describing what goes on in this book the word crows is there and a crow is a creature with a beak. Thus this works. For me. This is the third installment of the Diviner series and basically what the Diviner series is is it follows a girl named Evie O'Neill who moves to New York after 
some paranormal stuff happens to her at a party in Ohio. She moves in with her uncle who runs the kind of paranormal museum in New York City and stuff happens from there. Her and her group of friends trying to solve um, the different murders that are going on in the city. The series also tackles racism, privilege, and the different prejudices that were occurring in the 1920s and unfortunately um, still prevail today. So I love this series. The first two novels in the series were both a five star for me so obviously um, I have pretty high hopes for this one. The next class is Charms, Lumos Maxima, white cover. So this is also a little bit of a stretch. For this prompt I chose The Wicked King by Holly Black and you might say this cover is black. This is the dust jacket. The actual cover of the novel is white, so it fits. Uh, this is the second installment in Holly Black's Air of Folk series, I think. This follows a girl named Jude who, when she was a small child, her and her sisters were uh, kidnapped by one of the royalty members within the fairy world and taken and raised as his own children. Jude really, really, really wants to be a part of the fairy world, but she is met with a lot of resistance from the fairies. And that's like kind of like a really skeleton uh, synopsis. Um, I really want to complete this series this year. I have all three of them. I read The Cruel Prince and it really surprised me and I actually really enjoyed it. So I have, an, again, high hopes for The Wicked King. The next class we have an Albus for is Defense Against the Dark Arts. So Windy Lowe's book set at the sea and co this might be considered a stretch but I don't I think this is the closest um, to any of the rule breaking I have done for these books but I picked Lord of Shadows by Cassandra Clare this follows a group of young shadow hunters who live in Los Angeles Los Angeles is a beach town and it's on the coast so this counts basically this follows Emma Carstairs and Julian Blackthorne as a string of murders occurs in Los Angeles that look very demonic related and they must work together as all shadow hunters do to defeat this evil. It's the second one in the series and obviously a really thick boy and I'm very excited to continue. I don't really enjoy this series so much as her previous one which was the Infernal Devices but I'm hoping that Lord of Shadows and Queen of Air and Darkness will make me enjoy it more. The next class we have an Owl 4 is Divination third eye. Assign numbers to your TBR and use a random generator to pick your read. My TBR is enormous. However, I'm just going to do my graphic novel TBR. The ones I have left are Death Note Volume 6 by Tagumi Oba. I have Descender Volume 2 by Jeff Lemire. And I have Valor Wands by a variety of different authors. Um, I picked this one up at Comic-Con, so I always want to support like indie authors. So this would be a great choice as well. Okay, so we're going to assign Min 1, Max 3. Can you guys see? I don't know. And then generate 1. Oh, beautiful. The one for that is Death Note Volume 6. The first volume in this manga series follows a character named Light Yagami and what happens when he finds this Death Note and is given the power to pretty much murder whoever he wants, however he wants. It kind of ensues from there. I haven't enjoyed the last two volumes as much as I enjoyed the first three, so I'm really hoping the finale kind of picks up and reminds me why I enjoy this series so much. The next class we have in Alice 4 is Herbology, Mimbulus, Mimblatonia, title that starts with an M. And for this, I have Murderbot All Systems Red by Martha Wells. This follows a robot who essentially was built in order to murder and destroy things. However, this robot develops, I guess, a sense of sentience and it doesn't want to do that. It kind of wants to explore and find itself and thus like only wants to watch TV and consume uh, pop culture. I'm reading this with my work book club, um, so I'm really excited for all of us to talk about it. It's short and I hope that we have some really good discussions. The next prompt is History of Magic. And for this we have Witch Hunts, book featuring witches and wizards. And for this I have The Burning by Laura Bates. This follows a girl and her mother who are forced to leave their town um, due to a scandal that the daughter faces. And when she's in this new town, kind of rumors start circulating again about why she was kind of kicked out or exiled from her previous town. And in order to kind of escape this, the main character hones in on the history of a woman who was 
accused of witchcraft and burned at the stake in the 1800 Salem. So this is my shit. I'm super excited to read this book. I requested it on Net, Net Galley and it comes out April 7th. So this is the absolutely the first book I'm going to read in the month of April. The next class that we have an owls for is Muggle Studies, book from a perspective of a muggle. So essentially a contemporary. For this, I have Unteachable by Elliot Wake. I forgot to mention that this was given to me by Chandler. I will leave a link to her channel down below. Thank you, BB. She gave this to me two years ago and I'm finally getting to it. I'm so excited. Thank you. This follows a girl named Maze O'Malley and she um, kind of wants to spice up her life and gets involved in a relationship with one of her professors. From what I know from reading Elliot Wake previously is that he really hits you with those fucked up narratives and I'm so excited to get involved. I'm pretty sure like the last line like hooked me in this synopsis. Yeah, Unteachable is about what happens when a love story goes off script and just knowing Elliot Wake, I know he's gonna really fuck me up with this book and I am super excited. The next book is Potions Shrinking Solution, book under 150 pages and for this I have Binti by Nnedi Okorafor. This follows a girl named Binti who lives on the planet Earth with her family um, with dreams of going off and going on to adventures. She's offered a place at Umza University and when she kind of wants to take this chance to leave and go off planet, she's forced to leave her family behind and what that means for her. So I know this will be gripping. It's under 150 pages, which I am super excited to read. Everybody loves these novellas. Um, the entitled series has won like multiple Hugo Awards, I'm pretty sure. I am excited for this. And then the last class that we need an Owls for is Transfiguration, an Amagus lecture, book series that includes shapeshifting. For this, I chose Tokyo Ghoul Volume 12 by Sui Ishida. This follows a human boy named Ken Kaneki. He lives in a kind of Tokyo where ghouls are taking over and eating humans, um, but he goes on an innocent date with this girl who turns out to be a ghoul and when he is like kind of bit or something happens I'm not I don't remember exactly um, but something happens and he is forced to get kind of a transfusion and this doctor transfuses ghoul blood into his body and he is able to shift into a ghoul at will so I love this series it could go on longer and I would be happy I'm excited to see where it goes I think I only have three more volumes including this one um so i'm really excited to see how the story is going to shift into its finale and um i really hope ken kaneki stays safe because i actually really like his character a lot and that's it that's it for my owls tbr i hope you enjoyed this um if you're participating in the owls let me know if you have read any of these books let me know if you've hated them argue with me in the comments i love to debate subscribe hit the notification bell um leave me a like or a dislike i don't really care i don't know how to end these things so i will see you next time bye